it do, Bully Fam, Bully Fam, TVK West back with another video. Yes, sir. Today we are going to go get x-ray from a girl Trinity right quick. You know what I'm saying? I might take my kids to the exotic uh, animal expo later. I don't know. We'll see. Then we're gonna shoot over to the old crib. Um, I got a lot of stuff that um, I gotta get dumped. I got somebody coming through that's gonna dump everything out of there. So, yes, sir, man. Um, y'all stay tuned. Another episode. Let's get it. Yo, yo, my bad, Bully fan, my bad. Dang, it wouldn't, uh, the, uh, what is it called? The window mount thing is too shaky, man. I ain't gonna do y'all like that, so I'm gonna hold it with my hand. But yeah, um, is it, is it smoky in here, man? I had to air off some of that Zaza, man. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm from Cali. But anyway, um, yeah, man, I ain't really got much to say. We just gonna chop it up a little bit on the way to the vet, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just excited. We got a lot of good things coming up. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I'm glad things are going the way I planned. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It's a, uh, it's a new day for the trilateral bully camp, man. Um, from this point forward, we're just going to keep it nice and positive, y'all. We're keeping it positive. We're not dealing with none of the negativity. You know what I'm saying? If y'all uh, watch any of my videos and you saw me, like, you know, say or do anything negative, it was just basically uh, in self-defense, man. You know what I'm saying? We got dudes that, you know, throw their shots, and you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I might I might throw a shot back, you know what I'm saying? But we're not doing that no more, you know what I'm saying? We're keeping it positive. We're focusing on the future, you know what I'm saying? We're sticking to the script. We're going, you know what I'm saying, get this money. We're going to feed our families, you know what I'm saying? We're doing that type of stuff, man. You know what I mean? So we're just going to keep it real, real copacetic, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep it real. Uh, prosperous, uh, real positive, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna be um, working hard, you feel me? That's all we got going on over here at the camp, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? We're just gonna keep it going, keep it rolling. Uh, I got my girl Trinity about to drop this beautiful litter. Um, you know what I'm saying? We got some good breedings coming up. My boy Young Star, um, I'm, I'm not, I don't know if y'all heard, y'all remember Young Star, right? On that song, Wanna Be a Baller. Dude who had the second verse on that song, yeah. I called him yesterday, man, and uh, he was just chopping it up with, uh, he just so happened to know the dude that owns Simba, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's a, it's a couple, if you guys didn't know, uh, it's Crystal and her husband. So he chopped it up with her husband, and he called me like, hey, man, you know, they got this fluffy, they, do, they doing dog talk. And he called me and said, hey, Wes, you uh, you ever seen this dog? I'm like, you know, he's like, you know Crystal? And I'm like, yeah, man, about to breed to they dog. Yeah. And I could hear the dude in the background like, ha ha, yeah, see? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about, man. I know that was a beautiful feeling. You know what I'm saying? It's good. You know what I'm saying? When you put your program out there, people, you know, rock with you. Or they, you know, they plotting on your, your dogs and stuff. So, oh yeah, and by the way, uh, Young Star, he uh, does have a lock-in with Landlord, by the way, yeah. He bred to a, uh, one of my dogs uh, like a few years ago as well, one of my exotics. Um, his name is Trinidad. Yeah, I think he, I, I got a picture of him on my Instagram, but I might post him right here. But Shout out to Young Star, man, as you see, man. If y'all not familiar with that dude right there, that is an H-Town legend. Y'all go stream his music. You know you heard of his hits. Yeah, man, so we just, like I said, man, it's just a beautiful thing to just, you know, have things progressive so you know it's no way you're gonna make it being negative you know what i'm saying we're just gonna keep it nice and positive and we're gonna keep it rolling you know what i'm saying it's just the way it is you know what i'm saying like me personally i'm a person that deals with a lot of negativity based on my life like my life is a movie you know what i'm saying like i haven't had a job since 2003 been a, a business owner taking care of things you know what i'm saying for somebody who, like, I got friends in Cali, you know, they go to work every day, and they resent me for that, you know, you know what I'm saying, like, and same thing with, like, my music, like, I just, like, it's just a bunch of different things that, you know, that I've got hated on over the years of my life to where, me personally, I could smell a hater a mile away, you know what I'm saying, but I'm gonna choose to just, you know, Turn the other cheek, man. I'm not addressing that stuff no more. We're gonna keep it positive. A lot of the people who like want to like try to compete with me are always. It's like no competition, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like 
it's a waste of time for me on my end, you know what I mean? So we're not addressing none of that stuff. We're gonna keep it positive, you know, anybody who feels that they're competing with me, uh, you're really competing with yourself, my brother, you know what I'm saying? Because we're not, we not giving that stuff no energy. We're keeping it progressive, man. We're just gonna keep moving forward, man, straight up. So, at the end of the day, that's how we coming, man. That's how we doing it. Um, you know what I mean? A lot of, oh, and I must say, you know, with that being said, if you if you throw shots at me, I'm just not watching your channel no more, man. I'm just not gonna watch it no more. I don't have to watch your shit, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that, man. <laughs> it's simple as that, man. Like it's, it's some some dudes be dropping videos, and I never see it, man. Like I'm, you know, it's like it's no need, man. Once you um, you know feel the need to, you know, to show your envy, you can't control your jealousy, and there's no need for me to um, even entertain you anymore, man, so, yeah, that's what we're doing, man, but on a more, uh, I just had to address that, man, but on a more positive note, um, we headed to the vet, man, uh, what y'all think she got in there, I think she got about five in there, man, but we're going to the x-ray, we're going to see. Y'all leave a comment, let me know what y'all thought, how many was in there. Cause you know I'm gonna show y'all at the end of this how many she had, so. Y'all leave a comment on how many you thought was in there at first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And uh, also we got that that uh, sprinkles update coming up, y'all. So y'all stay tuned for that, you know what I'm saying? I know that's gonna be a big litter as well. Um, we get bad job I'm trying to exit um we get a puppy off of that litter I really don't really do pup backs but this is my family you know what I'm saying so just pup backs get a little sticky you know what I'm saying I just rather cash you out my brother and uh you know like that there but anyway um yes indeed man we pulling up to the spot um let's get to it man stay tuned to the next scene yeah, yeah, yeah. So we waiting for uh, them to give me a call right now so we can take her in there. Um, you know, they don't want people sitting around the lobby, I guess, for uh, COVID purposes and all that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just wanted to uh, flex real quick, you know what I'm saying? Y'all check out my trilateral merch, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, man. This is my dog clothes, man. You feel me? Like, I know y'all like, man, why you getting, why this nigga so fresh while he dealing with, bro, these dog, these clothes is, doggy bro they still smell like dog you feel me like all dog man gonna get doggy bro it's just that i'm just you know i gotta have my merch on while i'm getting doggy you feel me i don't really keep the jewelry on when i'm getting doggy you know you see we got 20 on the neck 20 on the wrist you know what i'm saying no captain but yeah man um my stuff doggy bro i get real doggy i go home change put some fresh trilateral merch on back at it you know what i'm saying if that get doggy then we go change into i got unlimited trilateral merch bro freshness every day so but it's just for the dogs you know what i'm saying it's like i do wear my, my trilateral merch sometimes when i go out like y'all seen i wore it to the football game and stuff like that but at the end of the day it's kind of universal man but you know i got the proper attire for the proper event you feel me but yeah when it's dog time we we trilateral merged out, bros. You know what I'm saying? It's Sersky, man. There's nothing wrong with looking fresh, bro. It's nothing wrong with looking clean. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you get dirty, freshen up, you know, we back. <laughs> yes, sir, man. To the next scene. All right, Bully fam. We're back at the crib. The results are in. The vet said, I mean, cause it's hard for me to see on the, uh, the x-ray. I'm gonna show y'all the x-ray somewhere on the screen. And it's hard for me to see, I can't tell. But the, the vet told me there is eight to nine pups in Trinity. What does that mean? I ain't even gonna say nothing, man. I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna talk shit. I ain't gonna say nothing, man. I ain't gonna say nothing. Eight to nine pups, y'all. It's 
So what does that mean? First litter. No, I'm sorry. First heat. First heat. Cardi. First heat, seven pups. Makita, my bully. First heat, eight pups. Maryland, English Bulldog. First heat, eight pups. Who else? I feel like I'm leaving somebody else out. Shania, my bully. First litter, first heat, seven pups. Okay, who else? Fibonacci, my female bully. First litter, first heat. Eight pups, no cap, it's on Instagram. So my point is, you know, for all those who say, you know, we're skipping the first heat, I don't want her to have a small litter. I don't know what to tell y'all, man. I don't know where y'all got that from, but uh, these are my experiences in real life, all right? But uh, right now we're going to the old house. I gotta take care of some stuff real quick. I got my son with me, just hopped in the whip. Gotta drop him off at his homie's house. So yeah, y'all stay tuned to the next scene, man. As you can see, we here, y'all. Truck here, we just moving some stuff, and you see, I brought the drone just to play around with. Matter of fact, let me charge this remote. This is the drone to play around with, just fly it over the bayou right there. Now, my uh, my, my guy helping me clean this stuff up. Let's see, we put the trash in the truck, y'all. Yes, sir. Bad boy, yep. Yeah, have it looking like a five star hotel up in here real soon, real soon. It's coming along, man. It's taking it slow. It's taking time because it ain't no deadlines, it ain't no pressure. So we just, it's coming though. It's coming along, yeah. Cleaning all this shit up right now. But, uh, let me clean up. I mean, let me charge this remote, y'all, and uh, stay tuned. Alright, Billy fam, walk with me. I think I showed y'all this on a prior video, but you know, everybody won't make it back to the prior videos. Early, early, you know, early videos. I took y'all back here. This is where it all started. Excuse me, and the inside of this home is where I started all my bully camp. All of this right here. All of this right here was. That, that artificial grass. Uh, damn, it's still some still right here as you can see it under the grass. Can y'all see that? All right, anyway, all this was artificial grass. You can see it's still here. I had a huge fucking party tent over this shit. I had like, excuse my language, I had about 10 different, I don't know, yeah, about 10 different 43 inch cages and then i had like 10 of the 47 inch cages man and all my dogs was on the right side right here and over here i had a huge trampoline for the kids right here they was jumping and then i laid this concrete slab down right here and then i bought two uh six by nine or six by tens my bad yeah six by tens these have been here this concrete slab and these cages have been here for at least a solid, cause I was breeding before I got these. But these have been here for at least about a solid four or five years. And you can see, I'm not sure what brand this is, but this is a very durable brand. This made it through the Hurricane Harvey uh, also as well, man. But still standing, man, still standing. And uh. Yeah, buddy, man. My camera still work. Everything. This particular camera came loose. I don't know. I see that camera right there. See, yeah, I connected it to the tree. Somebody cut the wires, bro. Who I don't know. 
Could have been my neighbors or something. Somebody, oh, most likely on the other side of this fence. But yeah, somebody cut them wires. But anyway, moving along, yeah, man, this is where it all started. I built this puppy pen right here as well. So it was about 200 bucks. Built this entire puppy pen on Bebo. Still functional as well. That good weather damaged wood. That weather wood. Still standing, bruh. Let me show y'all something right here. So I, I have a lot of puppies and stuff right here, right? So I will come back and also my dog trays. Because mind you, I just had the small cages. So all my dog trays will be where I told you that artificial grass was right there. So all my dog cages. I will have to bring those trays. I will grab them trays. And then I'll bring it over here. And I'll dump the piss and shit down this. And it will go into this particular hole right here. Y'all see that? Now that is where that goes straight to the bayou. Y'all know what the bayou is, the wash, depending on what city you're in. Some people call it the wash. Some people call it the bayou. So I would never have a stinky, pissy, or shitty smell lingering throughout the neighborhood or none of that. Or, you know, have like crazy odors coming from my backyard because of this conveyance right here. My other crib has it, but it's like in the front of the house, so it's in a, it's in a bad spot. But yeah, this right here used to save me so much putting all the piss and shit in there. It would never smell. My Jixxer right here, it's a 2007, 600. Used to do a, it's, it's my second bike. I had a, a, a Katana before this, a 750. But you see it's still here, still doing its thing. It winds lately, must have blew this tree down because this was, you know, always was uh, standing up, but now it's down. I guess the wind's been pretty bad. But yeah, man, it's a lot of good memories back here, man. This is where it all started, y'all. My homie's uh, dog right here, my neighbor, he uh, his dog would always jump over the fence. Because I always left a, a dog loose to protect the yard. His dog would jump over the fence, fight my dog, and jump back over. True story, man. I just want to take y'all with me, man. Show y'all where it all started. Really love that puppy pen right there. I wish I could use it. Perfect man, it's like that's why I made it that tall so I wouldn't have to bend over. But yeah, y'all. Just wanted to show y'all the beginning. The beginning, you know. Let me try to fly this drone real quick. We're almost done. Let's try to fly this drone right quick, uh back at the crib. And uh, see if we can get y'all some dog content, man, after I make this stop. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you like this video. Um, TVK West, I'm out, bro. Gone.